ndio amesema bandari ya Mombasa inahamishwa kupeleka kule Naivasha Utenda kazi pote ya bandari ya Mombasa inahamishwa meli itakuwa inakuja Mombasa na tua naweka juu ya gari ya moshi alafu moshi inapeleka moja kwa moja hadi Naivasha ya mambo ya clearing and forwarding yote itafanywa kule naivu vijana wengi watakosa watakosa kazi na sawa because he likes the drama the drama is the excuse that he is continuously using we had one, two, three, four, five, six development projects that were opened yesterday, that were initiated yesterday. <clears throat> what is in the newspapers today? The drama tactics of Hassan Ali Joho. This has to end. Okay? This is not going to work anymore. 40 billion. Imenda wapi? Okay? I'll keep coming back to the same thing. 40 billion. Where has it gone to? That he publicly broke ranks with NASA and resigned as the Secretary General of WIPER set former Mombasa Senator Hassan Omar onto a path that would wind up at Jubilee's doorstep. <laughs> Joho plans to have says plans to have a dry port in Naivasha will negatively affect the people of Mombasa. Joho told off Deputy President William Ruto over the setting up of a dry port in Naivasha to improve delivery of goods. The Deputy President had referred to the governor who has been rejecting the setting up of the port as an academic dwarf who has a little grasp of such matters. Ruto says the dry port are about bringing service closure to the people, but Joho has consistently claimed that the dry port will hurt the cost economy, leading to job losses in his county. Jana, William Ruto, I do not understand the definition of a dry port and therefore he called me an academic dwarf. Let me tell you. Kama kutatia watu wangu ni kukosa elimu sawa, wata ni ikosi. Lakini thuru majio watu wangu si ikubali. I will tell it to you as it is. Wewe wanachukua utenda kazi wa bandari unautoa hapa. You know how many people are employed there?